I dream of a world in which everyone is free to follow their own vision for their life, to have their human rights universally respected, a world that's free from aggression, where each person can envision his own life and then has the freedom to follow up on it and make that vision happen. This is a libertarian world, a, a market anarchist world, a polycentric voluntarist world that I imagine, a world where the nation state, as we've known it for the last 6,000 years, no longer exists. Now, there in the, in the libertarian community, there are a lot of plans for how to get to this point, to get to this dream that a lot of us share. There's uh, agorism. There's an educational activist strategy. There is the legal strategy of suing the government. There's the strategy of separatism, of moving to New Hampshire or Chile or somewhere else just to be by ourselves, to get away. Um, but the plan is, the, the, all of these strategies I call Plan A, and you know what? They've all failed. They've all failed us. It's been 45 years since uh, the founding of the Libertarian Party. And honestly, what progress have we seen in that time? Uh, really very little, very little. And frankly, I don't know what we can expect to see from these strategies in the future, given that peak liberty arrived in 2012 with Ron Paul's uh, second presidential campaign. Now you tell me Ron Paul, Julian Assange, Edward Snowden, um, and all the other re revelations and, and excitement that happened around that time. That, 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 that's peak liberty. What are we going to do to garner more attention, to cause more dissatisfaction or reveal more dissatisfaction with the nation state uh, that's going to outdo, you know, Edward Snowden, Ron Paul, Julian Assange, all those guys together combined. Um, the mass strategies are dead. They're dead. People don't care. People, people don't care about their liberty. They're not that interested. They're interested in security and prosperity, you know. Um, <clears throat> so really, plan A has failed. We need a new plan. And what are the stakes? We have serious stakes here. We're coming up on a time when uh, terrorism could balloon way past anything like 9-11. Because the United States government has spent the last uh, decade and more uh, killing people uh, all over the Middle East, often innocent people, uh, often without good reason, often carelessly. And what does this do? It just generates more and more people who are very angry at the United States. So I don't know about you. I, I, I'm a dad. Maybe you're a dad. Maybe you're an uncle, you're, maybe you're an aunt, maybe you're a mother, maybe you're a grandmother, grandfather. Um, as people who are adults at this time in history, we have a certain responsibility to make sure that the world that, that is coming is going to be one that our children, grandchildren, and other descendants can reasonably uh, enjoy. And I, I don't see it headed that way with the the, the ballooning power of um, the United States government and uh, the continuing threat of terrorism, among so many other things. The situation that we face today, um, the federal deficit, um, high taxes, uh, the uh, drone wars, the killing in our names, the endless uh, wars, the NSA surveillance, um, you know, essentially, this has become an Orwellian surveillance society. The say something, uh, see something, say something business, the TSA. Um, you know, not all of this happened in a day. It didn't, it didn't come about overnight. And so it's going to take some time to, um, to remedy this. Now, what's the strategy? The strategy I propose in my manifesto, this is basically my manifesto, is um, individual power, okay? 
Now, in the liberty community, we often get mixed up with this idea of advancing liberty, the cause of liberty. Well, there is no cause of liberty, and there really is no liberty movement either. Okay, these are um, vague, collectivist, amorphous, abstract things. Okay, what is there? There's you. There's you. There's you. You are the cause that you should be advancing. Okay, and so I propose a strategy of individual power. We are going to assemble a tribe of radical libertarians, all of whom are interested, are committed to a path of developing each of our own individual uh, power profiles. Now, by power, I mean power over our minds, power over ourselves, over our time, our attention, our energy, our health, uh, power over our wealth, most importantly. These, by, by working together on our each, our unique individual um, paths, missions, journeys, we can, in parallel, uh, scale ourselves up to the point where we have a group of radical uh, libertarians who are not just sitting on Facebook, on the couch, complaining, not doing useless things uh, like videotaping cops, not kidding ourselves that just by trading uh, bootleg uh, baby booties on Etsy with Bitcoin, that somehow that's going to lead to um, the end of the nation state and the birth of a voluntary stateless polycentric market anarchist society. In parallel, working together, we're going to build up our individual power by achieving our goals, by supporting each other as each of us progresses on our his or her unique path, self-selected path, okay? This is not a thing where, um, where everybody's aspiring to the same goal. Everybody has different goals. Maybe uh, you want to be, you want to own a piece of land in, uh, you know, remote Minnesota and run a farm. Maybe you want to uh, live in Chile in your own uh, home with your own business. Maybe you want to travel the world um, working remotely and, you know, visiting different places and moving around. Maybe you want to be in Thailand for six months, Japan for six months, uh, somewhere else another three months, Brazil for a little while. Or maybe you like where you are and you just want to um, work for yourself, start a business, get a better job. Uh, you want to be more in control of your life instead of always being on the defensive. Now, this strategy is a bit different than what we're used to in the liberty community, okay? Um, it doesn't involve passing out pamphlets in front of a courthouse. It doesn't involve running for office or forming perfect opinions on Facebook, uh, debating your second cousin at Thanksgiving dinner, uh, ranting on uh, Twitter, or much less uh, getting high. Now, if you choose to join me, we'll build a space for like-minded men and women, like-minded men and women to thrive in. Okay, uh, I'm talking about capitalism here, I'm investment in human capitalism, yours and mine, a culture where we build each other up, person by person, day by day, action by action. This is the high road, and you're invited, but only if you can follow the rules. But before we get to the rules, let's talk about the principles. What I'm proposing here is a new strategy. I don't know if you want to call it a movement or not, but I'm calling it a strategy, the strategy of individual power. Now, there's some principles here. The non-aggression principle, first of all, no first use of force, no fraud, honor your word. Now, these principles and rules are important if you want to work together with other people. If you want to pursue uh, a strategy of individual power all by yourself, well, go for it, man. Okay. However, I can tell you from personal experience that working together with other people can multiply uh, your pace of progress and your results. 
really at the heart of what a human being is, is it's a, an intelligent being primed to cooperate with other people because by working together in teams, we can achieve more. The second principle is honesty. The third is independence. I don't depend on others for my success. Now, a lot of times I see people falling into the pattern of, well, I can't do X because the government won't allow me. Well, screw that, okay? That goes out the window, all right? Four, always building, all right? Focus on the next constructive action. Build people up. See past the conflict to the solution. Now, in the Liberty community, I often see a lot of people focused on identifying the most perfect opinions. And there are huge debates around this. And instead of focusing on implementing uh, libertarian ideas in our own lives, we often get lost in these endless debates. And what happens? It turns into a barrier between people. People block each other. People uh, badmouth each other. And then what do we have? We have the famous, the infamous disunity of uh, the liberty community. Our, a princ our principle is always building. Okay, Number five, human first. Spare the ego heavy on the empathy. Number six, reciprocity. Give and get. The rules. The rules. I know libertarians often don't like rules. Well, if you want to be a part of this, if you want to work with me, if you want to follow this path, if you want to get what you can out of these uh, this course, these lessons, then um, you're going to need to follow these rules. No first use of force. No fraud, including dishonesty. Treat others with respect. Okay. In the liberty community, we often see each other as um, as um, people to argue with. Uh, I'm, I'm as guilty as, of this as anyone else. But in reality, if we're going to pursue this path of individual power, we are shipmates on a treacherous voyage. Number four, support each other. Number five, lead yourself. Number six, and this is a tough one, no dogma allowed. Original thinking required. Dogma is thoughts, pre-digested thoughts that other people have um have put out there for you to consume like intellectual junk food conclusions you know if you have reached a conclusion and you're living your life by it but you haven't done the thinking behind it independently then you are under the spell of dogma it's not good no debating about anything other than what to do no purity testing, no rants, moral outrage, or other drama. Save that for your journal. The tactics of the strategy for individual power are very simple. Action. Uh, that's the only tactic to take action towards your goals today, every day. Always be building. Yeah. Uh, the, and there can only be one result of successful action, which may be counterintuitive failure failure because if you aren't failing then you aren't trying hard enough you're playing it safe uh, my grandfather always told me the road to hell is paved with good intentions and uh, I think that can ring uh, that can resonate with a lot of libertarians because a lot of people out there have the best of intentions for what they want to do with government and all the government programs that they would like to see and many of which already exist um, but the road to success is paved with failure. Um, the concept of leaderless organizations is in vogue because I think so many leaders have failed or betrayed their followers. Um, but I consider the leaderless organization concept to be just as flawed as the leadered hierarchical organization. Um, I would like this to be a leaderful organization. You are your leader. You can take these ideas, you can apply them on your own with a group of people, no matter what I do or say. Start your own group or tribe or community online or in real life. Build it out however you want. Mentor each other, form a network, be a leader, make more leaders, okay? Uh, I'm not your leader. I'm just a talking guy here. There are no heroes, only teams with trust. Okay, so, so what now? 
where is this going? Is this manifesto just unstructured whining like most of them? No, this is leading towards a practice, okay? Um, but we have to acknowledge that uh, plan A has failed. Plan A are all the standard strategies, running for office, get um, pamphleting, uh, videotaping cops, uh, suing the, the government, uh, moving to New Hampshire, okay? None of it is working. The ideas that win are those that spread. The ideas of libertarianism are not spreading. And we won't change that topic, uh, that trend. We won't change that trend by amplifying the same old talking points, okay? Taxation is theft, for example. Talking points been going on for decades. What concrete um, effect has it had? None, none, okay? Um, agorism, uh, moving to New Hampshire, running for office. What has any of this accomplished? Nothing. Why do we expect it to produce anything new? When we're just doing the same things over and over again, it's time for a change. Go beyond the mediocre, renounce the status quo, the liberty community status quo. Declare yourself in rebellion to the ideology of going with the flow. Accept my personal challenge to build your own individual power. Whatever the majority is doing, whatever they're voting for, whatever they want, None of it matters. None of it matters. Only what you do next matters. So every Friday, starting uh, May 13th, which is today, I'll publish a new lesson in individual power. Uh, watch it, read it, uh, think about it, apply it. Okay? Uh, discuss it, share it with other people. The website is morelibertynow.com. You can find the text version and the downloadable PDF of this manifesto at morelibertynow.com slash manifesto. This has been George Donnelly. Thank you.